Today we will be reviewing and testing out DS18 six and a half mid speakers. Check these guys out. Today we will be reviewing and testing out the DS18 Pro X 6.4 BM. So let's open this guy up and see what it looks like. Okay, so far we have a template cut out in case you want to make some rings or you got a little small enclosure or maybe you need to cut a door panel and put this guy in. We have the DS18 brochure, owner's manual that comes with it. It'll tell you all the specs and everything about the speaker. Check it out. All the specs of the speakers, all the data sheet you need to know. Has a nice little DS18 chrome sticker. Man, these things are really cool. Stick it on your toolbox or your truck. Okay, so now let's look at it. Okay. So it's wrapped up in the plastic with a center bullet in the center. Let's unwrap it. Oh, look at this guy. say man this guy's a little beefy guy man i wasn't expecting all this the box was a little heavy but i thought it was from the packaging but man this thing is uh actually pretty solid okay so we have a six and a half inch mid right here with a center bullet in the mid range or mid and high world you always have to have an actual tweeter to actually define the sound and give it that extra crisp sound um but not in this case this guy actually has that built-in tweeter which we will be testing out here shortly with the mid and see what it actually does but man let's look at this guy if you want to display your speaker, man, this is actually a good speaker to display. It has the DS18 logo all over it. A real nice red, uh, we'll say, matte chrome bullet tweeter in the center. Let's flip this guy over. Nice red basket with the man, real beefy, with the DS18 logo on it as well. Uh, man, look, this magnet is kind of huge, guys. I'm not even kidding. Um, has the DS18 logo in the back. Um, let you know the model number, the size, um, the peak, the watts. Uh, ohms this is a 4 ohm so this is actually another 4 ohm application which a lot of mids and highs uh, are tend to be 8 ohm but this guy's actually a 4 ohm and we like it loud man and we like it loud too so we're gonna test this guy here in a little bit and I'm actually curious now to hear what this guy sounds like man because it is beefy uh, it does look like it's gonna do something man so why wait man let's get on it I love these PRV crossovers, man. These things, they do their thing. Man, they have those on and off buttons. Right, man, let's test these speakers out. Remember, this is not a full experience. This is just a quick, you know, let's see what it sounds like with some music, man. So let's get it. So there you have it guys man we played a little bit of sound through the ds18 six inch mid sounds good 
compared to other mids that I've heard without a center bullet tweeter, this thing actually, you know, it sounds pretty good. Um, it's a good speaker if you just want to replace your stocks, if you have six and a half, or if you just want to go a little bit more customized and fit these guys anywhere. Uh, man, they sound good. They can obviously hold some power. The only thing is they have a little bit of depth. So wherever you apply this guy, man, you got to make sure that you either got to space it out or make sure you have clearance, especially if you're trying to put these on your doors because you do have window tracks and you do have your glass that slides down at an angle or up and down sometimes. And maybe it'll be a little bit tougher to fit this guy in there, but rear decks, uh, center consoles, wall panels, anything, and you can definitely stuff this guy anywhere. With the right tuning, good power, man, I don't see why this guy would not be able to put in some work for you guys in your builds, man. These guys will give it the mousetrap certification. Sounds good. Uh, man, I'm pretty sure with a lot of these guys in there, man, your system will talk. So that's pretty much it for today's test and review video on the DS18 six and a halves, man, with the center bullet reader. And like I said, we're gonna go ahead and give them the mousetrap certification. Drop a comment, hit that uh, like button, and subscribe to the channel if you're a car audio bass head, man. So now let's get to it.